Hey guys, I'm Crestliner Pro Staff Josh Olson, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how I rig and I uh, set up my 2100 Raptor and a few of the features that the Raptor has. So, if you stand back here and look, you see I mounted three uh, rocket launcher style pull holders to hold rods when we're going up and down the lake. It helps us be efficient, gets those poles out of the way when we're running up and down, keeps them from bouncing on one another and uh, breaking rods. On the splash wall here, we actually just use that to store all of our planer boards. It's the perfect size. They stay in there without flying out down the highway. It works out pretty good. Um, this is something we do in every boat that I've ever had, is we always mount a back fish finder so we can look in the back of the boat, we know the depth and we know what's going on down there. It doesn't have to be an expensive finder. You can use one of your old ones because you're just going to link it in with uh, your new fish finders in the front. Um, and uh, as you kind of stand back here and, and take a look back in the back part of the boat, you can see I've got rod holders everywhere in this boat. You know, there's, there's eight of them here and we have them mounted to the, the Shermount gunnel system so we can actually slide those rod holders around just by loosening up a key right here. You know, we can move this here, here, the other ones in the front, wherever you want to. So that's a really nice feature that Crestliner has, you know, give you the ability to customize your rod holders at any given time on the water. And here, when I'm not using this rod holder, I just run my eye troll cable right through there it plugs in and then I can stand here and I can adjust my throttle and steer all in one place while being right where I need to be to grab rods and adjust line out so that's kind of a little tip that you know somebody may find uh, useful and then if you look back here you know Crestliner has a bag it's a huge bag it actually attaches right onto the gunnel as well and these bags are perfect for all these huge bottom bouncers. So we'll hook it up from time to time, but typically we just fill it, fits perfect right in here. It's out of the way when we need it, we can grab it. So that said, you have a back storage compartment here. Your batteries and stuff are in there, but there's also just enough space for your throwable and you want that where you can get to it quickly in case something goes real bad so uh, it's a good place to store that and yeah this little side compartment here and this is where we store all of our jigs and all of our uh, our scales and weighing systems and whatnot it's a good place to have them they're out of the way they're right where you can get to them and uh, they'll help you be efficient now here, typically, I'm not going out uh, fishing right now, but typically, you pull this open here, and we have a minnow cooler that goes right in there. It's out of the way. It keeps it from bouncing around. It works really slick. And then we also learned that you can put one of your measuring sticks right inside the, the side there, and you can just pull it right out. And we have three measuring sticks in this boat because you need to make sure that you have a measuring stick that matches the tournament director's measuring stick. Uh, that's really, really, really important. So we have several that we can check with their measuring stick. So you probably already noticed here that, you know, there's carpet in this boat. Uh, we just use that carpet and we hang uh, what we're, our go-to lures are that we're gonna start the day with. We just hang them right here on the side of the boat, work slick, they come right out, you know, you just pull right up on them like that, and they don't blow out going down the road. So, again, that's another way to keep things efficient. And then we have another Shermount accessory here, and uh, you see we got our pliers, we got our dipper, we have our, our fish grip system, and then, well, we just take this, and we fold it in there and it's safe keeping. So that works pretty slick. Now we'll migrate kind of to the cockpit of the boat. As you can see, I have airwave pedestals installed, best in the business. I run my airwave pedestal slightly higher than my passenger because I wanna be able to see over top of those fish finders. So again, customizing your boat to you 
is, uh, is really important. Now when you sit down here, you'll notice I've got a mount ball on my steering wheel. This works great. The Verado 350 has power steering. So I can steer this whole boat when it's running with one hand and it works really good specifically at the boat ramp when you're trying to get in and out or in a boat slip. Um, now here's another feature. Crestliners made their dash on this Raptor 2100 big enough to fit three sonars. That's not common. And truth be told, I can get a 12 here and I, and I can move this one down and still have enough space. But I ended up going with uh, two nines and a seven and it seems to be exactly uh, what I need to, to do what I do. Uh, another feature here is they have a USB port and I just have an old uh, iPhone here I leave in the boat. It's got all my music on it so I can listen to music whenever I want. Power port right next to that. The stereo is obviously there. There's a cup holder. And here's, you know, this is, takes up a lot of space, I know, but I like to have my crankbaits out where I can get to them. And uh, this will go along some of the customizing of the boat that we did. There's typically a drawer right here. And uh, we took the inner parts of the drawer out. and slide that back up. And... The door comes out, and now you can get eight plain old tackle boxes in there. Before, you could get about four. Well, now you can get eight, and you just slide this right in, lift up on the cleat, boom, still locks, works good. Uh, we also left the bottom panel off the boat because we just got done rigging it. And uh, there's often, when you're rigging a boat, you may uh, run upon a few things that you didn't quite get right or um, need to be changed a little bit. So by keeping that open for about, about the first month, it at least gives you the options to get in there and fix something if something comes loose or anything like that. Probably two weeks we'll put that back on. <clears throat> so we'll migrate over to this side of the boat. You know, this thing has top side storage for rods, really important. Um, we use that for quick changes throughout the day, you know, we'll end up having four or five rods on there. Again, keeps them out of the way. It'll help us be efficient by being able to get to those rods and not having to dig them out. Again, down here in the bottom, we utilize that carpet to store more lures. And I'll quick pop this thing open and you can see, you know, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of rods in there. Um, you know, we have reels all the way up to here, reels all the way back to there. There's right about 26 rods we have stored in this rod locker alone. So we'll migrate up this part of the boat. You have a storage compartment here, pops out. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. We have 16 Plano boxes in there alone. That will also fit a cooler as well. And then if you look up here, there's a lip. And again, there's all that storage for all sorts of totes and and fishing equipment really 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 clever because we're able to utilize uh, all that space so then we come into here and you know when I was talking about the measuring stick Crestliner has a measuring stick that comes with the boat right here again I need to check this one with the tournament directors to make sure that it matches up it's always a good thing to have it just slides back in there. So here's my rod locker. Um, we actually took the tubes out in the front because, again, we're looking to store as many rods as we possibly can. So we took the tubes out, and, and I have in that rod locker, I have 38 rods in real combos. So um, you can get a lot, a lot of rods in these things by just doing a little bit of customizing. So... Obviously, there's your uh, glove box. Now we come up here, you know, the Crestliner has this netting. So we, we use that to put all of our plastics in, you know, all of our power bait and, and different plastics and, and things like that. Works perfect in Ziploc bags. Um, you know, I have a spare rod holder there. And then you also notice up in front here, I mounted my .1 GPS actually in the cup holder works good it's exactly where it needs to be and it's out of the way now 
This boat has monster storage compartments. And with all the storage I had in the back, I actually don't have to put a whole lot into this storage compartment. Uh, this is all primarily rain gear, cold weather gear, a couple extra fish bags, and our inflatable life jackets so we can put them on when we get in the boat. They're easy and handy to get to. This one here, it's completely full of life jackets. So if we have some passengers come with, you know, there's four life jackets in there. There's our rope, um, our uh, fire extinguishers in there as well. Uh, I always have a set of rocket launchers like this in the front of my boat. Again, I fish Lake Oahe. Typically we go through four different methods of fishing. So that's 16 different rods throughout the day. So that just again allows us to be more efficient on the water. Here, you always gotta have two fishing nets, not one in case something happens to the other. We've had that happen, or maybe you get into a school of fish and you hook up multiple times and there's still a fish in there. So always have two nets. Um, now I need to show you this here. We have a ram mount again on the sure mount gunnel system. Very clever, works really good. You know, just pop it off. You can slide that around wherever you need to. We have a tool holder uh, gunnel system right there. I don't have any tools in it because I had the boat cover on. Um, and you pull up and look at this. This boat has so much storage that we don't have hardly anything even in here. Uh, that, that's kind of our day storage. Whatever we're gonna bring along for the day goes in there. So this is the first boat I've ever had that I've actually had extra room for extra things. So um, that's kind of how I rig up and set my boat up. Um, if you want to just pan around here real quick, we'll just do a quick. And uh, that's, that's how I set up my boat. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how I do it. So uh, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it. And we'll get some uh, other videos throughout uh, the summer.